In this video, I'll talk to you guys about the best, in my opinion, PC build for streaming that's not on a budget. Now, my last streaming PC build video was about a budget PC build, but this time I'm going to go over a budget that's above that number. So if you're working with a tight budget, I highly recommend you watching that video instead of this one. But don't worry, because on this video, I cover more than one option in case you have more or less money. So stay tuned until the end of this video, because I'm going to cover different type of PC builds. But of of course all of them being for streaming and gaming mainly so keep that in mind if you want a video editing gaming pc then you want to prioritize the cpu the ram and the storage and maybe lower the gpu without more to say let's start with the pc build so with the first part and one of the most important parts we have the brain of the computer the cpu for the cpu i went with the i5 12600k which is the latest gen of intel this one is going to be better than the ryzen 5 56 with X on everything basically gaming, multitasking, streaming, and video editing. And the most important part for video editing here is that you get the 12C Sangrid K version, and this means that it has integrated graphics and will help you out on rendering times and also editing overall for streaming at 1080p and even an entry point of 1440p. This one will be a perfect match. And for gaming, even for 4K, it's going to be enough for 60 FPS on average, of course, depending on the GPU because for gaming the gpu is the most important component then for the cpu cooler i went with an option that is not too expensive for what it is and it's a 240 millimeters only one liquid cooler from arctic this one will be enough for the i5 2600 k you can upgrade it if you want and you have more money and i'll talk about that later on this video but i wouldn't go any lower than a 240 all-in-one liquid cooler if you're thinking of buying a more budget option go with an air cooler instead of a 120 liquid cooler then for the mother motherboard i went with a budget motherboard for a c690 type of motherboard this one is the asus prime c690 py5 atx motherboard is going to work wonders with this build it's 228 dollars i know i said budget but comparing it to other prices for this type of motherboards is actually a great price and you're also getting wi-fi integrated to this motherboard so you don't have to buy anything extra if you're not going to plug it in directly to your ethernet cable and the audio for this motherboard is going to be great then for the memory i went with ddr4 i don't think ddr5 it's worth it at all it's not going to be that much of a difference with ddr4 it still has a lot of issues and it's completely overpriced so don't buy ddr5 for this type of build because you're going to be spending where you don't want to be spending which is overspending on the ram especially if you're going with a 440p or a 1080p monitor where 16 gigs of ram of ddr4 3200 megahertz cl16 is going to be way more than enough and it's also 56 dollars so it's way Way, way cheaper than DDR5. Then for the storage, I went with the Western Digital Blue, one terabyte of M.2 SSD. I think this is the bare minimum for a gaming PC of this price. I'll talk about the price later on, but I wouldn't go any lower than this, especially if you're thinking of installing big applications or big games like GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. Then for the GPU, which is really important for gaming, not as much as for streaming, but you still need a capable GPU to run games, we have the RTX 3060 Ti at $725 finally GPUs are coming back to the normal price it's still not there yet but it's a huge improvement considering how overpriced the GPU market was in 2021 the 3060 Ti is going to be I think the best GPU for 1080p gaming although I think you don't need a 3060 Ti for 1080p you can get away with a 3060 or the RX 6600 but once again perfect for 1080p even great for 1440p and I would aim for 1440p gaming and a stream with this type of graphics card you can do some 4k gaming 60 fps average depending on the settings and depending on the game but i would definitely go at least a 144 hertz gaming display then for the case i went with the fantex eclipse p360a atx motherboard this one already has two fans in the front and the airflow is actually pretty decent and considering that you get the two case fans and then you get the 240 all-in-one liquid cooler on the top and you will have another case fan that i put on this PC build on the back, the airflow overall for this PC and temperatures are going to be great. Then for the power supply, I went with a 650 watts 80 plus gold ATX power supply. Now for this type of field, it's going to work perfect, but if you want more upgradeability, I would 
recommend at least a 750 watts 80 plus cold power supply especially if you're thinking of changing the gpu to maybe like a 3080 3090 type of graphics card if you will change the graphics card to one of those gpu options then i recommend you upgrading the power supply as well but if you're just going to upgrade the cpu to an i7 then the 650 watts 80 plus gold is still going to be a great option now this pc will be perfect for streaming and also gaming so if you're thinking of doing 1080p or 1440p consistently 60 fps on average this one will be perfect and of course for the sports title it's going to be able to average more than 240 fps on average on the lowest settings and i'm talking about games like Valorant, fortnite and csgo and for games like call of duty warzone this one will be enough for 144 fps on average while streaming so that's something to keep in mind because you will have a great time when streaming and gaming with this pc now it's a little bit pricey it's 1635 bucks but you're getting great hardware out of this pc now i'll explain how to upgrade this pc in case you have more money but if you have less money than this budget you can go ahead and click on the top right of the screen where you will have my budget streaming pc video i recommend you watching that one instead of this one like i said at the beginning of the video and of course you will have this streaming pc with every single upgrade down below in the description now if you want to upgrade this pc this is the upgrade that i will make but again if you have even more money i'll talk about another upgrade in a second but i will actually add another 16 gigs of ram making it 32 gigs of ram in total now for gaming 16 gigs of ram will be more than enough but if you are planning on doing a streaming with a lot of tabs opened or heavy multitasking and video editing then 32 gigs of ram will be the sweet spot and you won't regret this upgrade considering that it's an only extra 50 bucks then for the storage i went with 2 terabyte of ssd from samsung instead of 1 terabyte once again you will have more room to download games and if you're planning on doing video editing this is really important because as a video editor i know that files usually are really big so you will need this extra 1 terabyte of ssd and then i changed the case for the corsair 4000d airflow and i picked three cooler master fans to have in the front of this case and the airflow is going to be overall better the total price with these upgrades it's 1860 bucks and if you have the money to feel free to buy this option instead of the last one but now if you have even more money i would go ahead and upgrade the cpu and the cpu cooler now the cpu is really important for streaming so you will see an improvement over performance for streaming and gaming overall and of course also video editing and i went ahead and changed it for the i7 12700k remember having the k version it's key especially if you're going to do video editing and then for the cpu cooler i went with the 360 millimeters only one liquid cooler instead of the 240 it's once again from arctic i think it's going to work great with this pc build but if you want some rgb it's going to cost you around 50 dollars extra so keep in mind that upgrade you can go with rgb but i don't feel like it's necessary and it's not really my type but some people really prefer rgb so feel free to do that upgrade as well and then i upgraded the power supply to a 750 watts 80 plus gold option instead of the 650 watts option because in the future if you want to do any upgrade from the i7 then i think the power supply change is going to be necessary so i went ahead and went with a better power supply now the total price for this pc build is going to be around two thousand dollars so if your budget is around two thousand dollars and you want to build an streaming pc i think this one is going to be perfect now remember that streaming and gaming are different if you want a purely gaming pc i recommend you going with the i5 12600k do not upgrade the ram and save that money for a graphics card like the RTX 3070 or the RTX 3070 Ti and you will see more difference but again this video was about streaming PCs and if you want a probably PC instead of a PC build because maybe you don't know how to build it or you want to just buy it and play it right away I have my video about the top 5 probably PCs of the month that I update every single month so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button because you will keep getting updated with this type of videos and if you want to see that probably PC video you will have it in the top right of the screen as well with my other PC build video and if you found this video helpful leave a like and subscribe but like i said before most importantly hit the bell button because you will be supporting me a lot and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and i will try to reply as fast as possible thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one